dolor lo tengo presente, el dolor, el dolor lo tengo presente, el dolor lo tengo presente, el dolor lo tengo presente, el dolor. I wanted to ask you. In what areas within yourself um, and within the experimentation of your own music, of tradition and of this experimental pop, in what areas did you find strength and power in making that a global message? I got two kids. Um, had to grow up fast. I understand that I hold a lot of privilege. When you're from where I'm from, and you have family members that have no access to water, um, whew, I am a wealthy white woman, let me tell you, compared to that, right? Like, like to some of my family members, I am like a millionaire. And when you have that responsibility and that constant worry, that maybe tomorrow uh, they're gonna get bulldozed by a mining company. I have no um, excuse not to be a badass. I have no excuse <laughs> to not um, stand up for myself because I understand what eyes are on me and I understand the dangers too. And I feel like if I act with not just intention, but strength and power, it will be a little less easy for my enemies to mess with me. And when I say my enemies, it's probably all of our enemies are all those people that don't want our community, our children to have a real future. Right, like to me, it's a real concern that my 11-year-old daughter, you know, in 10 years from now, there will be rivers that will be gone by the time that she is able to, to meet those rivers. So when you have all of that, it, it just makes you strong, you know? It, I also eat every day, that makes me strong. I drink water, clean water. I, for me, it's not even a thing about strength and I am here for, no, like I don't, I, this is just who I am. And uh, you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it, but you secretly love it. Gracias por estar aquí. Muchas gracias. <laughs>